lessons and get us some lard, will you, for tomorrow? I'm learning the Yorkshire Premier League Cup team in 1922, Mum. Luke, don't argue. Do as I say. But, Mum, what do you want your Sunday lunch cooked in? Tea? But Dad said he was going to test me. Agatha F, Agatha R, Tompkins Noble, Carrick, Robson, Crapper, Dewhurst, McIntyre, Treadmore and Dabbit. And Dabbit scored twice in the last three minutes and Frank Agatha saved a penalty. <laughs> Yorkshire Premier League, 1922. Agatha F, Agatha R, Tompkins, Noble, Carrot, Robson, Crapper, Dewhurst, McIntyre, Treadmore, and Davy. Made 19, won none, drawn none. One cancelled owing to bereavement, lost 18. Reserve team, Yorkshire Premier League, 1922. Alton, Roberts, Carter, Sydney Cave, Tatwell, Mason, Manningham, Bailey, Boswell, Dobkins, O'Grady. Goals for six. Goals against 81. <laughs> Junior team, Yorkshire Premier League, 1922. Bun, Wackett, Buzzard, Stubble, Boot, Bowman, Baxter. Horse, shut up! I'm going out. Dripping? No. <laughs> uh, Gordon. Yes? Gordon, I've been meaning to tell you. I'm going to have a baby. Oh, right. Don't wait up for me. Where are you going? Somewhere to cheer myself up. <laughs> Garden. Brown, please, sir. Go on.
Useless, useless bastard. <laughs> Coming to training on Tuesday night, Gordon? Yeah. Son. What? Roger Itfield's got my shorts oh, yeah, on. Now then. Can I go up past six? Yes. Now then. <laughs> Saturday, as you all know, is cup tie day. And it's our chance to show. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> He got me shorts on and he won't give me back. Bloody hell, and they're on top of my back in changing room. You're on me peg. No, please. They were never on his peg. I shared peg with him and I never saw them. You're a bloody liar, you are, Dobson. No. Don't you call me names, you pansy. They come out on my back. The bloody did it. Don't like. Stop it. <laughs> the hell do you think you're doing? Who the hell do you think you are? I didn't come here on a free transfer from war, so to stand and watch a, a bunch of morons arguing about shorts. I came here to create a football team. A hard, ruthless, tough fighting unit. I, I don't care if your bloody shorts are on or off, as long as you can do a quick one too, round an overlapping half back. You can wear the sodding things over your head for all I care. If you can drop a long ball right at the centre forward's feet. You can, you can run the length of this pit stark bollock naked if you can tuck one in the corner of the net at the end of it. Shorts don't matter. Yeah, shorts have nothing to do with it. I don't care if they're blue serge shorts or white cotton shorts or green flannel shorts or sky blue shorts with elastic supported and stitched Italian waistbands. I don't care if they're long shorts or short shorts or three quarter length shorts or initial shorts or monogram shorts or Billy Meredith signed shorts or shorts made in Ireland or shorts made in Austria or shorts made in Timbuk Bloody Two with pink stars on that light up at night. <laughs> It's not important. <laughs> Do you hear? They're nothing to do with bloody football. <laughs> the only thing that matters is what's inside them. <laughs> the machine you've got pounding away in there, up and down, up and down for 90 minutes. <laughs> You can wear all the bloody shorts you want. You, you can wear 15 woolly pairs on top of one another. But it won't make a hate of the difference unless that punching, pounding, pulsating machine can't keep running and tackling and fighting. There! That's what's important. Look at that! Not these. <laughs> Took them away. Throw them away. <laughs> Goodbye, shots. Hello, football. <laughs> Indecent exposure in a bakery. You probably get three years. That's only the manager. Centre forwards off with boils. Two halfbacks going to a wedding, and goalkeepers got a cold sore. God. Chairman's called an emergency meeting. Oh, Dad. When were Bounster Worth made full members at York's Premier League? August 1907 Division 2. He'll sort the whole thing out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Gordon, love, I'm going to have a baby. About bloody time, that's all I can say. You are, love. I say it's about bloody time. Chairman put his nose round the door and took an interest in the club. Don't wait up for me, love. <laughs> I think we're going to buy Arsenal's manager. Oh, aye. Right. To be Arsenal's team and all. Those of you, huh? Not bad. Farting stuff. Gentlemen, please, gentlemen! Gentlemen, fellow supporters, I'm glad to see so many of you here tonight. Now, the last few years have not been kind to Barnstone with United. One look at the results board will tell you. <laughs> uh, this continued lack of success and the consequent damage to the financial situation of the club, coupled with the pending court proceedings against our manager, Mr. Dainty, <laughs> has impressed upon your board of directors the need for urgent action. We have therefore decided, as from Tuesday next week, to sell Barnstone with United Football Club. <laughs> its players, grounds and premises to the Arthur Fogg and Scrap Corporation for redevelopment. They have assured us that the name of Barnstone with United Football Club will not be forgotten and have kindly consented to name one of their steel scrap crushing mills after the club. Saturday's cup tie against Denlimore Academicals will therefore be the last game at the Sewage Works ground. Believe me, we have not taken such a Your supper is in the oven. P.S. I'm going to have a baby. Morgan. Oh, uh, could I have a word with you for a minute? Is it about scrap? It's about the football club. Oh, then it's about scrap. It's coming. <laughs> Good evening. How do you do? That's just arrived today. Fourteen bogeys from the Scottish Railway Company. <laughs> <laughs> Worth 15,000 in the open market. I'll get 20 for it. <laughs> Sit down. Oh, thank you. Drink? Um, no, no, thank you. I love scrap. 
I've always loved scrap, ever since I could walk. I've always wanted to be deeply involved with it. <laughs> now I've got 12 heaps and four major cities, and why? Because there's only one thing I love better than scrap. And that's success. Well, what can I do for you, Mr. Mr. Uh, Ottishaw, Gordon Ottishaw. I, uh... Come on, lad. I've been blunt with you. Be blunt with me. Well, I want Barstonworth United to stay as a football club. I want. I like the sound of that. Why do you want Barstonworth United to stay a football club? Well, because that's what it is. Wrong. Barnsonworth United hasn't been a football club for years. It's been a, a rest home for the physically incompetent. I could have had cows on that pitch for the last three years. They'd have paid for themselves and scored more goals. Well, we're just going through a <laughs> bad patch. Bad patch? You don't know what you're talking about. Do you know when they last won a game at the Sewage Works ground? I'll tell you. October the 7th, 1931, 2-0 against Pudsey. Right. Haggerty F. Ferris, Noble, Codron, Crapper, Davis and Sullivan, O'Grady, Kemble, Hacker and Davitt. Davitt scored twice, once in 21st minute, once in 28th minute. Kenny Davitt. Neville Davitt. Uh, that's right, Neville Davitt. <laughs> he, was, he was a player. He was bald, weren't he? Aye. Aye, the head like stainless steel. The ball came off it like a point two to rifle bullet. He once scored with the back of his head from 28 yards against Barnsley Reserves in 1922. <laughs> Aye, that was a night. Were cut, weren't it? Yorkshire Cup, fourth round replay. Hackety R, Hackety J, Tompkins Noble, Carrick. Carrick, he was a player too. Robson, Crapper, Dewhurst, McIntyre, Treadmore and Davitt. Uh, three all, five three after extra time. Davitt scored twice in the last three minutes and Frank Hackety saved a penalty. Hey, that were a night. God, there must have been 10,000 people down there. 10,118. <laughs> coaches over from Leeds. Coaches from Leeds. Still, then's then and now's now. Time is a general manager on our board, Mr. Ottershaw, and it goes marching on relentlessly, waiting for no man, hand in hand with the scrap merchants of this land. I wonder what on earth became of Neville Duffett. He's uh, running a butcher's shop over in Bradley. Old Baldy, running a butcher's shop. <laughs> Ken Carrick works in a, in a glue factory in Todmorden. What a bloody waste. A glue factory for a man who can crack a goalpost and two from a halfway line. He works in the same shed as uh, Harry Treadmore. Harry Treadmore. I crikey, they were a team in those days. It can be again, Mr. Foggan, if you just give him a chance. What's it got to do with you? Well, I'm just a supporter. <laughs> I don't make there any of them left. Well, I keep hoping something might come along, you know. Another Neville Davitt, another Kenny Carrick. You're getting soft again, Mr. Ottershaw. Them days have gone and they won't come back. If they did, people like me would be out of business. Now, if you don't mind, I've got half a hundred ways of steel filings to sort out before morning. <laughs> well, it's been nice talking to you. Yes, well, Saturday be last match then. Yeah, there's lots of good games over at Leeds. Why don't you get a season ticket? Oh, I well, uh, I'll probably give up football for a bit. Well, good night then. Good night. <laughs> Now that 
boy's got history school certificate today and he still gets his British Prime Minister's muddled up with Barnston with reserves for 1914. Now, you've got to stop filling his head with football. It's not healthy and it's no bloody use. Well, he's not going to be Prime Minister. He's not going to be a footballer, is he? He may be, yet. You know he can't kick a ball straight. He hates it. And how would you like to be called Barnstonworth? Got another name? United. <laughs> we should let him be what he wants, Gordon. Agatha F, Agatha R, Tompkins, Noble, <laughs> Carrick, damn it, it doesn't matter. When will you realise, Gordon, that it doesn't matter who the hell played for Barnstonworth Bloody United in 1922? But what is important, Gordon, yeah. is that I am going yes. to... Oh, yes. Where are you going? Bradley. Bradley? What for? Shopping. Gordon. 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 Before you go anywhere, we must talk. Don't wait up for me, love. I'm going to have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. David? Aye. Neville, David. My name's Ottershaw, Gordon Ottershaw. Uh, I'm from Barnstonworth. Oh, aye. Oh, yeah, I used to be a great fan of yours when you played for United. I remember your, uh... Yes. Well, you know, uh, before you had... Well, when you still had, uh... Fastest legs in West York, yeah. Yes, yes. And, uh... You know, all those, all those goals you scored from the, uh... Penalty spot. Yes. But, you know, the... The headers. No. Never score with me head. Couldn't afford to with head of air like this. I've always been proud of the air, always will be. <laughs> Bloody embarrassing this is going to be. You should have called the whole match off. Half the team's sick and missing. Why the hell we couldn't... Uh... Oh, why, Mr. Foggan? I haven't seen you down here for a year or two. Don't look around the premises, eh? Make a lovely scrap heap, this. No, I've come to see Barnston work win the match. Well, I shouldn't hang around getting cold if I were you, Mr. Foggin. Your Mr. Ottershaw told me they'd win. Ottershaw? Now, yeah, don't you go worrying about him, Mr. Foggin. He's enthusiastic. I like enthusiasm. Obsessed, I call it. It's a form of madness, you know. Wearing your scarf in bed, calling your kid <laughs> Farm Stoneworth. I'd like to see them win again. I'd like to see them turn up. <laughs> 
Stanley Moore. We've got your old weight at number eight. Aye, the bank robber. That was never true. Oh, come on, Bant. Stoneworth, where are you? Three o'clock. Who the hell's that? It's our manager. What the hell's going on? There's just the four of them turned up, and only three of them have got shorts. You don't believe you. Don't worry. I can play. I could show them a thing or two. I'm sure you could, Mr. Dainty, but that's not what I came to see. <laughs> <I'll be waiting. laughs> Sorry, we're late. <laughs> Gordon. 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 